What's up everyone, I'm Gushi, and in this video we're going to be going over what you guys should be doing to prep for Rivals, which comes out this Friday on September 3rd. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing and probably the most important thing that you guys should be doing is stocking up on Honor. Through the Gear Mastery system, we will be unlocking new abilities and techniques. It's unclear if we're going to get a whole nother skill tree or just one extra node for each the ability slot, perk slot 1, perk slot 2, and perk slot 3. Regardless, these extra techniques will definitely change the way you play each class. Whether it's just by a little bit or a lot, most definitely we will be changing our gear to optimize our builds. With different builds comes more crafting to get those perfect rolls. Again, honor is the most scarce resource while crafting for those god rolls. So to optimize our time when grinding for honor, let's quickly go over each activity and how much honor it gives. Starting off with Nightmare Story. Nightmare Story takes about an average of 10 to 15 minutes to complete depending on the modifiers, which you only get 60 honor. Keep in mind that you only need to complete chapter 3 to get 60 honor, so you really don't have to do the bonus objectives like collecting the Oni treasure, finding the lost scroll, and doing Gyozin's curse. I know some of y'all speedrunners can get through this in way faster time, so if there is a good modifier, this might be a viable option to farm for honor. Next is Nightmare Survival. Because the max waves for survival got decreased to 15, now it's a lot quicker to finish. Just completing all 15 waves will get you the max honor at 300. So you really don't have to do bonus objectives, but again, it will get you some more loot, which you can break down for more honor. I'd say the average time to complete Nightmare Survival is around 30 minutes, depending on how coordinated your team is. Next is Chapter 1 of the Raid. Just completing the raid without any of the Oni treasure will get you 450 honor. I'd say if you're not doing the Oni chest, it should take around 20 to 25 minutes, making it one of the better options to farm for honor. We're gonna skip breaking down Chapter 2 because that takes forever, and is definitely the worst option out of the lot to specifically farm for honor, so we'll just move on to Chapter 3. Chapter 3 should take around 5 minutes to complete, and will give you 150 honor. Next we'll do some calculations on how many honor you get per minute for each activity. So getting 60 honor per 10 minutes for doing Nightmare Story will net you 6 honor per minute. Next for Nightmare Survival you get 300 honor per 30 minutes, netting you 10 honor per minute. Next chapter 1 giving you 450 honor per 25 minutes will get you 18 honor per minute. And finally for chapter 3, getting 150 honor for 5 minutes will get you 30 honor per minute. So according to these calculations, the most efficient way to farm for honor is chapter 3 of the raid. Again, this is reliant on how fast you can complete these activities, so your mileage may vary. Finally, keep in mind that this is just a rule of thumb, and if you find certain activities more fun than others, definitely go with the one that you enjoy the most. Alright, moving on to the second thing that you guys should be doing before Rivals is to finalize your build that you will be using until you get to that new max key level of 120. This topic is really kind of a toss up because we don't know the meta builds yet until we see these new techniques and abilities, so the builds that we have now might not be the best later on. However, the reason why you want to finalize your build is because while you're getting up to 120, you have to bind the gear that you're upgrading to a specific class. So you still want to have a cohesive build, as you can't change your gear until you complete this mastery challenges. The previous PlayStation blog post did release the names of these mastery challenges, and actually gave a description of one of them called True Survivor, which has you completing 25 survival waves. There's a couple of unknowns. This doesn't specify what difficulty the survival waves have to be on, so for all we know we could do this on bronze and still complete this mastery challenge, making it not that difficult to complete. If all the other challenges are around the same difficulty level as this, I'd say it won't take that long to upgrade your gear. The other unknown that is unclear is how much completing these mastery challenges will increase your gear. Will this immediately take our 110 gear all the way up to 120? Or will this give us just one level, making you complete one challenge per one key level? That will be kind of grindy, but I'm okay with it. But if anything, we'll just have to wait and find out. Finally, for the third thing you want to do to prep for Rivals is to complete the Iki Island story. And the main reason why you want to complete the story is, is to unlock those specific cosmetic items in Legends. A lot of the additional cosmetic items are unlocked through Jin's journey, only available through the single player. So for the most part, if you complete the main Iki Island story 
and buy items from the black, white, and red dye merchants. Along with some of the new game plus stuff from Baku the Voiceless, you should unlock all the items currently available in Legends. There's also some vanity items like helmets, which personally I don't think are that nice, but some of the sword kits that you can find in Iki Island might be worth getting. And so with that, that's everything that I have for you guys on how to prep for the Rivals release on September 3rd. If you guys have other things that you recommend that we should do before Rivals, let us know in the comment section down below so we can all find out together. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and GG.